Want to get as close as possible to a UAE battle carrier without joining the Navy or committing terrible acts of piracy? Null is the place. One of the earliest systems charted by humans, Null was discovered in 2290 by nav jumper Antoine Lebec. Folklore claims that the system's name derives from a misunderstanding. Upon returning from his initial scout of the system, Lebec was asked if he found anything interesting, to which he replied, Null. Null is a classical Cepheid star, a yellow supergiant that swells as much as 10 to 15% its standard size at times. While it is an easy system to transit, the nature of the star makes habitation extremely difficult. In the centuries since Null's discovery, humans have made three separate pushes to attempt terraforming operations. None have ever exited the study phase as surveyors in each instance reached the same conclusion that despite advances in terraforming technology, the system remained to be untenable for any sort of human habitation. Most analysts familiar with the system believe that there is no reason to visit its barely inhabited settlements and, given the danger presented by the star itself, no reason to even transit through the system. The system has taken on a far more nefarious reputation, however. Recent advocacy warnings over the past few years have indicated that abductions have been on the rise in Null and suggested the potential existence of a slaver pack. Travellers are advised to consider alternate routes before committing to a path through Null. The first two planets of the Null system are entirely uninhabitable for reasons stemming from the star's nature. Null 1 is an orbiting dwarf planet that is slowly being burnt away during the star's expansion phases. Null 2 is an uninhabited iron planet. While it is unusually large for an inner world, its surface has cracked due to the expansion of the star and the world is now slowly emitting gases chiefly composed of the burnt mantle. Coal is the third planet in the Null system, a barely habitable terrestrial world located on the inner edge of the system's green zone. While geologically similar to Earth, the nature of Null's star makes actually attempting life here an unpleasant prospect. An atmosphere composed primarily of ammonia and sulphur, coupled with the fact that liquids can only exist deep below the planet's surface during the hot season, means that environment suits and respirators are necessary at all times here. The world boasts a single landing zone, Char, developed from an abandoned environmental research facility. Note that Char is not technically aligned with the UAE and has no rule of law per se. The fourth planet in the Null system is, at first glance, a typical gas giant. But be warned, the entire planet is locked in a permanent electrical storm capable of readily disabling any ship that approaches. Null 4's closer Lagrange points are littered with the hulls of spacecraft foolish enough to approach in spite of the electrical interference, and of course, the hapless salvage crews that decided those wreckages were a prize worth taking. Null's high point is the fifth planet, Ashana, home to one of the more unique habitats in the universe, a city built out of a wrecked human battle carrier. In 2571, the UEES Olympus pursued a group of rebels and pirates back to their makeshift base on Ashana. The ship's commander directed the Olympus to make a run at the base that took it too far into the atmosphere. The drag slowed the Olympus below its sustainable speed and at that altitude it was unable to recover, resulting in its loss with all hands. The Olympus crashed to the planet's surface where it impacted the desert wasteland. The crash quickly attracted scavengers who began to pick the ship clean, until they realised that it was a more pleasant environment than the windswept caves they had previously called home. When the Navy did not dispatch another force to eliminate the wreckage, squatters moved in and turned the Olympus into a town of the same name. The carrier's corridors and bays are now home to everything from a Tavarin marketplace to a warren of hotly contested individual homes for those living on the planet. Today, Olympus is a semi-dictatorship, with a Tavaran named Nescus running the entire show. Black market goods are exchanged here, but only in limited quantities. The carrier's inhabitants know better than to give the UAE an excuse to bomb the wreckage into oblivion. Ho, 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 it's me, Father Nordmus. That's right, it's that time again to see who's on my naughty list for who doesn't have a VPN. Ah, uh, no, that's Northern Claus! 
across from Northern Claws, Timmy. You should be scared of not having a VPN. As you know, Father Nordmus punishes all that disobey him. It's the perfect Nordmus present, Timmy. There's no excuse. I can see all of your website history, and I'm going to sell all of your data, Tim. NordVPN helps protect your online activity, gives you greater accessibility to the content you want by changing your location, and much, much more. Go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer before Das Nordenclaws finds you. Every month we have a Star Citizenship giveaway. For December, we are giving away a Drake Corsair. It's the winner of the 2953 Ship Showdown and one of the stars of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. This fantastic multi-role, multi-crew, long-range mission runner can do a bit of everything in-game and it has a penchant for exploration. Just comment on any of my videos during December to be in for a chance of winning that. There are further details in the description below. A big thank you to everyone that goes the extra mile in supporting the channel via Patreon or the join button under my videos and becoming a channel member. It will net you some exclusive content from Zin and I, but also it really does help us to be able to create daily Star Citizen content, as does sharing these videos and commenting. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the verse.